Welcome back to the Beast of Books and Birdies. Now this is going to be the last episode, hopefully. And I need to rush. Let's go. The last three creatures, a large riz lizard races around you. Run, feed, wave. I assume if it's racing around me then probably run. You run to keep up with the lizard but it's too fast. Oh well. Watch go I guess. Hello there but So right? The lizard bolts off before you can mount it. Oh. So every option is going to wave maybe? The way your sticky stick splattering scoot spot everywhere. Oh now run maybe? You You match the hindered lizard's face. The lizard's eyes swells to glare at you suspiciously. And now right? With an offensive advantage you mount the lizard as he races through his daily duties. Disembark. Having experienced a laugh in the life of Briscalis, the lizard drops you off where you got on. Alright, so uh, I didn't get all the information. The lizard is long gone before you can retrieve anything from it. Ah, okay, so I need to go on ahead and wave the scoot spoot everywhere, then feed. Your hands are still sticky from the scoot spoot splatter. Alright, run! Yep, he's looking at me suspiciously. The lizard's speed increases exponentially until it runs straight for a mountain off in the distance. Very intriguing, what am I supposed to do with you? Give. What can I give him? You give the lizard a back rub. It gives you a thumbs up. Now give again. Okay, now... Feet. You discover that Briskalist eats only the fastest of foods from his well warm snack pack. You offer it a new pack. Now this back. Oh! Oh, he actually... Alright, it seems like I'm always going to be missing the last one. I don't know how. I really should be paying attention. Missilet Whistle. Alright. Briskalis live their life on the run. Baby Briskalis learn to run before they walk because they never learn to lock. Walk. Why does he lock? It is rumored that Briskalisks are able to enter the eighth dimension. Huh. So, what's happening between the third and the seventh out of pure curiosity? I don't know anything about them, so. Huh. No cool. Okay, just a crowd. Attack, wave, defend, run. Wave? You attempt to wave the crowd away with your hand, but it is ineffective. You now have a sticky hand. Okay, defend. Before you could. Before the crowd draws too closely, you inhale deeply and hold your breath. You cannot hold your breath any longer as you, as you exhale the air from your lungs. You blow away the crowd to reveal a strange mushroom creature who appears to be casting a spell. Uh, attack? You bop the mushroom on the head. It lets out a little poot. The little poot is the bad thing. You fall unconscious. Ah, Fungus Arcanus. Very peculiar. So, should I defend more? Unable to find sufficient cover, you find yourself caught by the mushroom's quad kill. Oh, so it killed me? No? Well, it seems like my character is immortal, which is very good. Very useful. Now, I try to attack, so wave. You wave your hand, mirroring the mushroom's movements, and you accidentally counter its quad kill. Oh great, this is a guessing game. Uh, feet! Great. You extend an offering, but the mushroom keeps its distance. It doesn't seem to like the smell of you or your snacks. I mean, it doesn't give me the option to do anything. I'm clicking everything and it simply doesn't do a thing. Really? I'm so... What, what do I need then? But there's nothing else. I tried pretty positive almost. All the options at least. So... There shouldn't be a better way of doing this. Hmm. I must be missing something. As you flee, you also see the mushroom is fleeing. Hmm. I don't know. I can't figure out that one. Let's just check the last creature. A nightmarish operation looms over you. GTFO. Attack, turn, defend. Oh great, the same as the last one. Defend! 
A flaming drive of darkness emerges from the rough's hand. Your feet wish to flee, but your spoot covered boots keep you in the battle, and your spoot covered gloves protect you from the flames. Bulk, bolt, hide, channel, bolt! You bolt from the battle, fear tingling down your spine. Spine. Ah. Okay, so the dragon, the worm. Okay, so the dragon, the worm, the mushroom, and this guy. Only four creatures. Hmm. You explore the ground beneath the grass and discover sword. You recognize the sword from a catalog of swords and sundries. It is Kuzanagi no Tsurugi, the grass cutting sword. Not reading that. I already read too much. Let's be honest, I butchered the pronunciation too much. Cutting. So I am grooming the dragon with my blade. That is very intriguing. Now, are we done? Yeah, I think now to run everything is going to be ready. You run barefoot across the dragon's flesh pack. The grass feels pleasant beneath your feet as you flee. Yeah, but I'm positive. Yep, there we go, the sword. I got everything from the dragon. And now they have the blade. Can I do anything with this guy? I don't think so. But maybe with the mushroom. Well, I just cannot figure out of this room. I don't know why, I just can't. I'm going to leave it before today. Now, now, let us try this guy. The, what, he's some kind of a ghost? Hmm. Okay. Uh, turn. You hold up a magic symbol that you found on the back page of the book. The rough tears and the book the tatters. Trapping you in the infernal darkness, you awaken later in a cold sweat. Fear still lingering from PSI Nightmare. Now hide. You may have only hidden to go pee, but it appears that you hid in fear. The ghost has grown stronger. Okay, now let's find again. Hmm. Channel? The poltergeist bursts. 1d4 terrifying shadows. You channel your positive energy to make more friends. You distribute 1d4 fanny packs. High five? Oh, though some goats may like high fives, just the thought of a high five infuriates the phantom. It sprouts flaming spectral hands. Okay, channel. Alright, now you're weaker. Dance around you? The phantom's shadow swells and spreads beneath you. Black tentacles sprout forth from the ground. You quickly cut them back with your blade as you dance about the tentacles. Oh, Okay, hug the guy. Though the ghost is uncorporeal, your training has enabled you to share a hug from the heart. Exercise sing. Exercise, exercise or sing. Oh. You split some sick jazz legs. The spirit fears the jazz and grows stronger. Okay, so hug. There we go. Now, exercise? You and the ghost and uh, Briskilisk go for a jog together. The ghost finds a new passion for fitness and gives you a key in gratitude. Ooh. Oh wait, this key. Is it... Your buddies have a present for you. Huh. Alright. That's awesome enough, but... I cannot count this as a victory because I haven't unlocked two of them, but... This one is not over yet. How can it be not over? Ah, it must be over. Hmm. Okay, I can feed it. In depression, the spirit casts sweets. You suddenly want to eat sweets and withdraw a muffin from your snack pack and share it with the ghost. Oh! And now I can go on ahead and exercise and we're cool. Oh, there we go! Gung ho ghosts aren't necessarily malevolent. But sometimes trying your best is very hard and they lose perspective. When facing a gunho ghost, bring plenty of supplies and be ready to exercise. Right, well that's honestly intriguing, but with that, I have only two more creatures left and they're slightly triggering me. And I can't figure out this one either. Well, if that is the case, I will go on ahead and let this 
to a mystery for anyone who wants to play the game might discover them themselves. But I hope you enjoyed this, I'm going to count this victory, even though it's technically not. But I will, so I hope you enjoyed it, if you did go ahead, comment and subscribe, at least for now. Ah, uh, well, to be honest, I was expecting to get... To be perfectly honest, I had the expectations of getting up way earlier. Oh my goodness, I'm such an idiot, now that I have the stinky smell and I defend... There we go. Now, this time... I can defend behind the walk. I can wave. Alright, defend. Alright, perfect, now I can feed it. The mushroom approaches cautiously, but appears to be put at ease by your stinky hand. It trades you a punch potion for a selection of your smelliest snacks. A, a great? Now I run and now I'm done. Yes, uh, oh my goodness, thank you. I'm not feeling as bad now. Spore casters cast stinking crowd before battle begins to obfuse their presence. If their shroud of fog is dispersed, they will rapidly or readily retaliate with ray of decay, quad kill, or spornado. Whew. Okay. Now we have just a single one left. Oh yes, so I was supposed to complete the mushroom. You enable a sip of your magic potion, the worm swallows up a stone. Folk, the worm's stony skin feels like living earth. The worm excretes a dusty toot. You unleash an exemplary explosion. The worm restores with a plort. You collect some sparkly dust. And now I'm done. Yep. Ah. There we go, I did everything, right? I bravely, yep, I run bravely. And I completed the book, that's why you should give it everything you got and you will finish, even the most basic and simple games that if you didn't finish you would feel incredibly embarrassed about and... Oh, oh I'm so happy. Hope you enjoyed this, if you did, go ahead, comment and subscribe, but at least for now... Bye.